back in ETV. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Balcony TV Exeter with VisitExeter.com. We are really delighted this morning to welcome Three Kane Whale. Guys, you alright? Hello. Hello. Thanks for coming. What do you uh, what you got lined up for us? We're going to play uh, a little medley of two tunes. Uh, first one is a tiny tune called Sprig, and the second one is inspired by uh, the um, multi-layered landscapes of southern Britain, and it's called Shadows on th on the Chalk Hills. It's all yours. So much. I mean, these are uh, these are fairly sort of tame instruments for you guys because you're known for your, you know, your quite eccentric instruments as well, aren't you? It's, um, yeah, I suppose I guess, we are. They're, they're, yeah. they're tame and yet, you know, they've got their little moments of wildness. They certainly do. Okay. Yeah, heard, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was Keris Matthews that kind of turned me on to you. It was quite a while ago when she featured you on the show, and uh, yeah, it's absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Thanks she so was much. she was the first person to kind of hook onto us at all. Yeah. We did the first album we had out, which is quite a long time ago now. Yeah. We just randomly sent out some CDs, and two weeks after sending one out to her, she played a track on 
one of her programs, she's which is really amazing. Quickly, yeah. So she's yeah. been a. Really so that, that was the album you, you recorded around waterfalls and in sort of churches and. In well, crazy that first like album that. was one we recorded in a in a tiny little parish church in Bristol, a lovely yeah. lovely old church in Bristol. The second album after that we did we took out to twenty different locations in honour of the fact that most of the tunes are inspired by very particular landscapes. So. Okay. Yeah. I mean, do you find that using instruments like this kind of forces you to, to write in different ways? Because you've got, you've got other projects going on as well, don't you? At the mm. moment, and but I think probably three K well is quite different. To the other projects you've got going on in many ways definitely yeah and yeah. i think i think the instrumentation has a huge impact on the writing yeah. partly because you know we i mean you know my colleagues here are, are fantastic musicians and uh, but i think all of us would uh, agree that you know we have our specialisms alex is a man is a mandolinist yeah sure primarily i'm a trumpet player primarily okay. paul is an amazing guitarist and manages to coax multiple sounds out of one instrument anyway but the other instruments you know we're kind of sort of beginner novices Just intermediate yeah, so yeah okay. and that definitely okay. forces certain limitations on writing which yeah, i think yeah. is a good thing are you always on the lookout for, for different sort of instruments things yeah you sort of walking past sort of pawn shops in bristol absolutely Man, yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm always looking for a portable piano type instrument we've right. got one already right which right. uses tuning forks rather right. than strings so the, the hammer strike tuning forks and that's a lovely thing it's called a dulcetone but it's a bit of an obsession of mine i'd love to have some sort of portable keyboard Okay, like piano, piano, uh, piano like, like a, a battery powered sort of thing. No, no got to be acoustic. acoustic. Oh, acoustic, yeah. you can yeah. get battery yeah. powered ones. I mean, that's, wow. that's easy, no one acoustic instrument. Okay. Yeah. There's yeah. a thing called a ship's piano that they used to have on, right. on tiny little portable yeah. piano they used to take on board ships in the 18th, 19th century, something like that. Fantastic. Yeah. 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 Spinet. Yeah. Spinet spin spin would be lovely. That's yeah. a bit of a holy grail at the moment. Have you come across a hang? A hang, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. I, I play a bit. Do you? Yeah. Nice I meant to bring one along. Nice actually, it would have been great to have seen you guys playing. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, another time. So your current album, how do you pronounce it? Pam Palimpsest. Palimpsest. Yeah, yeah. That was recorded at Real World. It you, was. You got um, uh, from Portishead, the producer from Portishead. Adrian, who's right? the, Adrian, who's the yeah. fantastic yeah. guitarist, one of the main three Portishead did, uh, was basically offered to produce us. Wow. So which I mean, we, we were talking kind of to the other artists here how, how a lot of artists get, you know, producers from a completely different genre, which is mm. you know couldn't be further apart from. What you guys are doing. Yeah. Although he's got his finger in lots of pies, he's really interested in working with, collaborating with people from all over. Yeah. You know, his last project, Flit, was with right. folk musicians and electronic musicians, and so I think he's got tentacles everywhere, yeah. and, and and is such a, an amazing listener to music right. from right. everywhere. It's a beautiful piece. I really, really love it. So, coming up, then I saw you've got a, a bit of a studio thing. You're, you're you're playing at somebody's exhibition up in up in Bristol. Which yeah, really, I'm yeah. going to really try and come to that because oh, I great. really like her work as well. So yeah, Kat really, is yeah. a woman called Carol Peace, Peace who's a yeah. sculptor, and she's been working in Bristol for 25 years as an artist. So she's having a kind of week long, even 10 days, I think, right. celebration. And she asked us to perform in the exhibition space, surrounded by her sculptures. So right. it's in Paintworks, right. which is uh, just off the Bath Road in Bristol on November the 14th. Look out for Should that. be nice. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Thank you. Just, just absolutely yeah, brilliant. Lovely. Three Came Whale people, check them out. Where can we find you online? Where's the best place? Three Came Whale dot com. Okay. And easy as uh, that. yeah, it's easy as that. And and there's nothing else spelt the way that we spell our name because it is uh, famously, infamously a misspelling. Should be spelt differently considering what the name represents. So that means that you will only find us if you follow okay, us. Okay, even with a misspelling, Google's still going to find it. Well, probably, yeah. yeah, I haven't tried that, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Thanks again. Thank you. Well. Thanks for our venue, Samuel Jones, and uh, we'll see you next week. Cheers. Back in ETV.